Hello everyone, it's Dina Swanson, aka Goody Girl, and I wanted to do um, a reveal over the camera here. So I was watching Dear Julie Julie, um, that's her YouTube channel, she's got the sweetest voice, and she's in the process of making a fairy journal for her daughter. And I'm going to be doing a swap soon um, for a fairy journal, and I thought, this is perfect timing. I can utilize some of her um, elements in this kit. So this kit she sold for $48 and I was a pre-order and I went ahead and did it. I didn't know it's the first time I've ever purchased from her Etsy shop. I didn't know, I kind of knew what I was getting and what she said was is that the reason why she does it as a pre-order is so that way um, as she's going along doing the journal for her daughter, she was going to actually include more elements to this kit. And let me tell you, I haven't pulled hardly anything out. I just know that this envelope is heavy. It's bursting. So um, I just opened it up and I was going to go through it. And I thought, you know what? As I kind of pulled the packaging out, I thought, I am going to show this on camera so you guys can see um, what I got from her. And again, first time I've ever purchased from her. Um, I will tell you, I will purchase from her again. She fills this up to the health. When she says $48, I'm sure I got more than $48. Needless to say, I'm pretty excited by the contents of this. Just like I said, I haven't looked at the individual packaging. I am just totally amazed about what I got in here. So um, I'm going to pull that out and you will see. And you, I'm going to link her video um, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And just in case you guys want to purchase from her again. Now I know, um, I, I don't think this kit's available anymore. I don't, well maybe, I don't know that for sure actually. Um, I'm assuming it's sold out. But um, if not, you can go check it out. Um, I think actually when I looked on her video it said three more kits left. Um, so if you want, I'm going to endorse her right here. I think it's okay that I do that. Um, and I'm not sure what all the rules are, but um, she definitely deserves the credit. So I paid $48 for this. Um, and here's what I got. And that includes shipping. So that includes shipping to me. And so um, this is some background paper. Um, hopefully, I don't know how long this video is going to be. And if it's too long, I apologize. I'm not going to thumb, I'm not going to explain every pieces of this. So, um, but I do just kind of want to show you what this kit looks like. So here's one package. I'll go this route. Sorry for the glare. I'm going to go that and let's see how stuffed that is. And then I got another package like this. I love these bags. Um, I definitely am going to email her and ask her where she got these bags because these are pretty awesome looking bags. And here's another one. Um, I don't know what this is. I'm assuming it's like a glitter pen. I'm not sure. Um, and then I'll just pull those elements out. I've got some vines. Right? Is it vine? I think it's like binary. Binary, is that a word? <laughs> and then I got um, some flowers. And I think she gets her stuff from all over. So I'm maybe she gets it from like Michael's or, or Dollar Tree. I don't honestly know. Um, I don't care. I thought it would be easier. Um, I love to shop at times, but I have to be in the mind frame to shop. So, um, and sometimes I can shop. I can go into a craft shop. I can go to Dollar Tree and I can spend an hour there. I can go into my craft stores and spend an hour each in there. But I have to be in that mind frame to just be in that space with a bunch of other people. Um, I like to online shop, which is what I did here. And the fact that she had already put this theme together, I thought it was just perfect timing. Because like I said, I wanted, I've already been gathering elements. I just wanted more. So I wanted a lot to play with because this journal is going to be for a very special person. Hi, Tina. <laughs> um, so Tina, I'm not using all of these elements in your journal, just so you know. So, um, so I've got some eyelets and I haven't used eyelets in a very long time. So that'll be a little challenging. I think I am going to incorporate that in Tina's journal. Um, and so there's just a ton of stuff in here. There's some eye pins so I can make some, um, and I'm just dropping doodads everywhere <laughs> as I'm catching it. Um, there's some eye pins in here so I can make some dangles, um, which I think that's something that Tina wanted to start doing. Um, and so there's paper clips and there's just all sorts of little goodies in here. So this is going to be fun. Um, put that back in there so I don't lose all of it all of the elements I think some fell um, to the floor which is funny because 
I don't know that I'm going to find it. I might vacuum it up. Sorry, Julie. <laughs> um, but some of them got away from me. So sorry if I'm taking the time to put these in there, but I don't want to lose any of these pieces because I'm going to challenge myself. Um, so I'm going to put a lot of thought to put this kit together, and I thought, you know what? I am going to use quite a bit of these. So here's another um, package. It looks like it's got some fun stuff. I hope I'm on camera. Um, let's see. What do we have here? It looks like we have some game pieces. Or are they altered pieces? Pull those stuck in there. So I don't know where she got these. These are pretty cool. So these look like game pieces to me. Um, let's see if I can bring this up to camera. Um, aren't those cool? And that's what it looks like to me. It looks, I have that back one backwards. It looks like little um, memory game pieces or something or other. So, um, and this one has a fairy on it. And here's a shrinky dink. Um, she actually stamped this, and um, I watched this on her video that she said she did it. She basically stamped this, and then she um, did a shrinky dink. When's the last time you actually did a shrinky dink? And I actually think I have. Um, I don't know if it's coming up. I think I have, there we go. I have shrinky dink material. So remember when they were super popular? They were like so popular. <laughs> um, and then here's a little piece she actually colored and shrank it down. I am totally going to do shrinky dinks. Oh my. You know, don't you just love when people bring stuff back and you're like, okay, you know what? I want to do it. I used to love doing it. Why am I not doing it again? So can't. I'm going to find out where she gets these bags because I love them. I don't know. Is this from the Dice, Daiso place? <laughs> and so in this bag, um, oh my God, those are gorgeous. Look at those. Those are super tiny. And these, you guys can see this, right? You could see the glitter happening here. That is some bling bling right there. That is super pretty. And um, flower. And here's some little mini uh, rose trim. And then she's got materials. And I'm not going to tell you um, my thoughts on my book because if Tina sees this, I don't want her to know. I've I've got a huge idea on how I'm going to do her journal and I cannot wait to start it. And, and Tina's my special friend from the UK. I met her um, on another journaling site and so glad I did. She's awesome. And I want to say Tina and I have been friends for almost, are we going on a year, Tina? No, not a year. Darn close though. Okay, I'm not going to put that in the bag because that will take way too long. Here's the other one. And this is heavy. Again, this bag is super cool. Um, hopefully I don't hoard it. <laughs> I did another video um, where I got my embroidery hoop um, swap back and I love it because it has all these Tim Holtz um, uh, ephemera in it and it's all the stuff that I'm hoarding because I buy stuff that I really like and I just hold on to it and it's like my pretties, my pretties. And so now I can actually use them in projects and, and hopefully other people will enjoy. So this has some just little images, um, again I'm not, she cut these into tags already. So how cool is that? I don't know if she hand cut these or um, or what the dealio is, but these are all tags that she cut. And then I've got some images. Not pretty. And like I said, I'm going to um, link. I think she still has some kits left, you guys. Um, I'm pretty sure she's updating this. And so I'm going to link it to her. And I, I think it's totally worth the money. Um, so if fairy journal is something that you want to do, you should totally check it out. Look at that, she's cute. And, and I don't know how she has the patience to go through and find all these elements that are fairy related because honestly, unless she has a super huge stash of stuff, I just think I'm the luckiest person in the world right now because she saved me so much time. I remember one time I was gonna do a fairy journal. Um, I can't remember, I think it was through um, another junk journal site. And um, I was starting to look for things and I was getting frustrated because I would go to a Goodwill and um, look for um, like Tinkerbell or something like that. And 
I was getting frustrated because I couldn't find what I wanted. So I kind of just gave up on it. And then I decided that I wasn't going to participate and, um, and just collect it as I went along. So there was no rush on that. But now I have a plethora of stuff for um, fairies. And these are absolutely gorgeous. Tina, you are going to be so jealous. Look at that. Beautiful. So I just love the fact that somebody's already did all the work for me. Because I can handle that. I will pay a little bit more money for someone to do all this work for me. Because like I said, I have to be in the right mind frame to go into a store and look for these. Or to go into a store and really just not, just go in there with the expectation of not finding what I'm looking for, I guess is what I want to say. I love this. This is super cool. And she mentioned on her video that her thoughts were to have maybe a fairy kind of trapped in the jar. Because it's not a really, really cool idea. So that was super cool. A book of stickers and, um, and just lots of little flowery things. Like I said, I know I'm not going to use all this for Tina's journal because I have an idea that's not going to use all these bright cherry stuff. Oops, I might have let, let out a little hint there. <laughs> going to be mischievous a little bit. Okay, so there is that. And then the bigger package, of course, my little OCD mind is going to want to put those exactly the way she sent those to me, I'm sure. Not necessarily OCD, but that's the way I received it. So I'm going to want it to all go in its packaging like, like it was um, sent to me. Look at this. This is oozing. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty excited over this, you guys. I've been waiting to open this up in front of you for at least a couple of days. I haven't really felt really well the last couple of days and so I've just been like oh I really want to do that video and and now I'm feeling up to doing it so again look at this pretty bag I don't know if this haha it's sticking to it so I did a magic trick did you guys see that okay now I'm just being silly anyways so I have more doilies uh, and I say more because I have some but look at that isn't that gorgeous I'm kind of seeing a pocket with those and then just all of this beautiful stuff that is in a very fun fairy like color or colors. That is super pretty. Look at that. That is gorgeous. It's pretty ornate, but you know, junk journals can be that way. And just papers. Love that. Hear that? And um, how did she go and do kits of these? You know, it's like, this is pretty. I don't know what this is. You know, it looks like a rub-on, but it's not. But it's gorgeous. Can you see the foil in that? Love that. Yes, so you people that go and put these kits together, I adore you people. I do. Because, again, makes my life so much easier. And I know a lot of you actually have fun looking for stuff. It's kind of a challenge for you. And you guys love going into the different places and gathering these materials. Yeah, again, sometimes I'm just not in the mood for that. I tease my husband and I tell him it's because I don't like people enough to do that. And I'm totally joking, you guys. <laughs> I'm totally joking. I love people. But I tell him that. Look at this. Did she hand cut this? Because I'm thinking she did. Yeah, I don't know if she did. But yeah, I think she mentioned that this was from a wallpaper. And I honestly thought, you know what? I honestly thought I was getting the sheet of wallpaper. She actually cut this for me. Oh, Julie, Julie, Julie. Maybe that's why it's Dear Julie, Julie. Because <laughs> we say Julie, Julie, Julie. And I don't know her. Um, I know her YouTube channel. I watch her. I love it. She's so sweet. And okay, you guys, that's it. And she's actually included, um, looks like she actually stained some paper. Yeah. And she's included some acetate material. So there's a ton of stuff to have fun with. So I'm, I'm basically going to need all my table space available to me. My sewing desk. 
my stand-up desk, all of it's going to have to be empty when I start this project because I'm going to have all of this stuff spread out along with the collection that I've started because I think I actually have the Graphic 45 paper pad as well. And so, um, yeah, there's going to be tons of goodies for me to play with for my um, my journal that I'm going to be making from Miss Tina. Miss Tina from the UK. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. I just wanted to um, kind of show you what I got from Dear Julie Julie. Again, I'm going to link her link to the bottom there because I know that she has. I was going to wait to post this video a little bit later, but um, I think she still has three kits left. And I want you guys to go check her out in case you're interested because um, I don't think you're going to be disappointed. And I think she also has, um, I got to find out, um, I think also what I'm supposed to be getting I think actually it came in the um, email. I'm supposed to be getting um, some images, so some JPEGs as well. And I think it's supposed to be like some music sheets, some um, vintage music sheets, and some postcards and stuff. So I need to go in and get that printed off. Um, I'm pretty sure that was included. I'm pretty sure I saw her email come through. So um, yeah, go check her out. Um, a ton of stuff. I am not even kidding. Um, you guys saw it right here. Um, like I said, she added to it as she was going along making the journal for her daughter. So just tons of stuff. You will not be disappointed. I love it. Okay, that's it. Bye for now. Oh, and thanks for watching. <laughs> I need to remember to say thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm just being silly. I think it's time for me to go to bed. <laughs> so good night, and until next time, I'll chat with you later. Bye.